Earth is no stranger to natural disasters. From earthquakes to tsunamis to tornadoes, there is a myriad of things that could make life very unpleasant here on Earth. But then again, there are factors from outside the Earth that could completely obliterate all life on Earth in one fell swoop. And these planet killers are called asteroids. With millions of asteroids floating through space, some of which are the size of mountains, the next doomsday asteroid could be on its way to Earth as we speak. So the question is, are we equipped to prevent the next catastrophic planet-wide destruction, or are we to suffer extinction like the dinosaurs? Join us as we explore if NASA scientists can stop the next doomsday asteroid. Earth and Asteroids Earth is no stranger to asteroid hits as the planet was formed by the collision of millions of these planetary rocks over the course of billions of years. Earth's mountains, valleys and even the waters in our oceans were largely contributed by asteroids and comets from space. But that was billions of years ago. The solar system is a much different place than it was back then. There are still a lot of these asteroids floating through space and while scientists today are more focused on detecting these killer asteroids, it took a near-fatal impact to wake us up to the possibility of planetary annihilation. An asteroid the size of two football fields missed the Earth by a few thousand miles back in March 1989. The killer asteroid approached the Earth at a speed of 46,000 miles per hour and barely missed Earth's orbit at a distance of only 400,000 miles. This was about twice the distance between the Moon and the Earth, which is incredibly close for an object of that size. Scientists were only able to detect the asteroid when it was well within range of Earth and all they could do was watch it slightly glide by our orbit on its way out into the solar system. Scientists estimated that had the asteroid impacted Earth, it would hit with the force of 20,000 hydrogen bombs obliterating anything within a 100-mile radius in seconds. The impact on land would result in a dust cloud that would engulf the atmosphere, shrouding much of the planet from any sunlight and causing global food shortages. If the asteroid made impact in the ocean, the resulting tsunami would reach every continent on Earth and result in the death of millions. This asteroid wasn't half the size of the asteroid that caused the extinction of the dinosaurs, and NASA scientists realized a larger asteroid would wreak extinction-level havoc on the planet. The asteroid was then named 4581 Aselpius, after the Greek god of healing, as it was a wake-up call on how we need to better plan for such events. NASA's Dedication to Planetary Watch Over the last few decades, NASA, in collaboration with several space agencies around the world, has been dedicated to developing systems and technology to better detect these killer asteroids long before they reach Earth. As such, NASA has launched several programs such as the Space Guard Survey to track and locate what are now called Near-Earth Objects, or NEOs. The objective of these programs are to track, locate and characterize at least 90% of the NEOs that pose a significant level of threat to Earth in the event of an impact. These NEOs are those that are at least 140 meters in diameter, which is about the size of an average football field. The possibility of objects of this size colliding with Earth is significant as they are common to the asteroid belt, a region of space between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Millions of asteroids of different masses fill the asteroid belt, but Jupiter and Mars do a lot in pulling much of them away from Earth's direction. NASA scientists have revealed that there is a lesser chance of an asteroid larger than 140 meters impacting the Earth in the next 100 years. But then again, all that could change, as not nearly half of the estimated 25,000 NEOs of that size have been located with their possible distance from Earth largely unknown. NASA has been dedicated to developing specialized telescopes and infrared high-resolution cameras able to detect these asteroids millions of miles away. This is mainly because, unlike comets and stars, asteroids are darker and neither emit nor reflect light around them, which makes them very difficult to locate. Finding Asteroids When a near-Earth object is discovered by a telescope or any asteroid discovery program, NASA's Planetary Defense Program carries out an additional follow-up to further track the trajectory and orbit of these asteroids. The Center for Near-Earth Object Studies 
uses a slew of complex computing to determine not just the orbit and trajectory of the object, but also the size, shape, rotational speed, and its physical composition. NASA's role in detecting these objects is imperative to our survival. Unlike stars and planets, these NEOs are relatively small compared to the Earth, and most amateur astronomers are able to detect them from ground-based telescopes. The Chicxulub asteroid that caused the extinction of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago was between 5 and 15 kilometers wide. While that is significantly capable of causing a planet-wide catastrophe, only a few dedicated astronomy centers around the world are equipped to even detect it before it comes within range of Earth. Scientists have determined that the risk of a catastrophic asteroid impact on Earth is very slim, but then again NASA scientists have also revealed that they have found less than 40% of the asteroids that could cause such an impact on Earth. This leaves a rather wide window of opportunity for many unpredictable near-Earth objects that might be a lot closer to Earth than we think. Scientists have been able to detect some rather large near-Earth objects, but so far none of them appear to be on impact trajectory with Earth. One such asteroid is named 2022 AP7. AP7 measures around 1.5 kilometers and has been rated a potentially hazardous asteroid by NASA as it is one of the several large near-Earth objects with the potential to cause significant damage if it impacts Earth. The asteroid orbits between Earth and Venus and is currently in orbit on the opposite side of the Sun, but scientists estimate that in 1,000 years the asteroid will slowly begin to merge with Earth's orbit around the Sun and would lead to an impact at some point. AP7 was discovered alongside two other near-Earth asteroids and has joined the long list of potentially hazardous asteroids that fortunately do not have an impact trajectory with Earth. According to NASA, an estimated 30 near-Earth asteroid discoveries were made weekly, and so far, there have been nearly 30,000 near-Earth asteroids discovered so far in the solar system. But detecting asteroids is only one step in protecting life on Earth, as finding a way to eliminate or simply deflect these asteroids from their destruction path for Earth is essential. This is where NASA's DART mission becomes crucial. DART mission NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, also known as DART, is a mission designed as an advanced method of deflecting killer asteroids as a form of planetary defense. The mission in itself is simple enough. Launch a rocket from Earth to impact an incoming asteroid before it comes within range of Earth and redirect its trajectory from its collision course with Earth. This method is known as the Kinetic Impact Technique and was carried out in November of 2021, when a rocket launched atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket on a mission to impact a small asteroid known as Dimorphos. Dimorphos is a 160-meter moonlit part of a small binary asteroid system, with its larger twin asteroid, Didymus, measuring 780 meters long. According to NASA, the objective of the DART mission was simply to impact Dimorphos to change its orbital speed by a fraction of a percent. The mission was carried out to simply demonstrate the efficacy of the DART mission, as Dimorphos poses no threat to Earth. The DART spacecraft set on a collision to impact Dimorphos at a speed of 14,000 miles per hour, which caused an impact strong enough to change the orbital speed of the moonlet by a fraction of a percent, causing its orbital period to change by several minutes. In October of 2022, NASA announced that the DART mission was a success, and the spacecraft had successfully shortened the 12-hour orbital period of Dimorphos by an astounding 32 minutes. This might not seem like much, but for an asteroid of that size and at that distance from Earth, it could cause a significant shift in trajectory over time. The mission proved to be a success, as it demonstrated that asteroids could indeed be deflected away from Earth if they are detected early enough and a response mission was sent just in time to deflect them from their trajectory toward Earth. The DART mission was the first of its kind and required a high level of international collaboration, as scientists and data from across the world were crucial in estimating the impact force required to cause a significant change to the asteroid trajectory. So, in the event a killer asteroid is in fact detected to be headed for Earth, early detection and a quick response could be all that saves us from ending up like the dinosaurs.